hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again dear friends hope you are all doing well so far we have discussed the one way ANOVA problem okay today i am with another important topic that is latin square design so you have to solve the problem with the help of latin square design over here okay okay so this module is just in your pocket you can easily get 20 marks from this particular module only thing is uh, your calculations should be fast in this case over here okay today i am with the uh, module fifth question number nine b analyze and interpret the following statistics concerning output of wheat for field obtained as a result of experiment conducted to test for four varieties of wheat okay like uh, a b c and d under latin square design you have to use simple procedure you have to follow okay so let me start it this is your uh, varieties of wheats are given okay and codings are given c b a d and a d c b b a d c and d c b a okay first of all while writing solution write down the sum of these terms okay 25 plus 23 plus 20 plus 20 you will get 20 plus 20 is 40 40 88 you are getting over here okay then 19 plus 19 sorry this is your 19 plus 19 plus 21 plus 18 is equal to 77 okay then this one 19 plus 14 plus 17 plus 20 you will get 70 then again you will get 17 plus 20 plus 21 plus 15 you will get 73 okay this is your summation after summing uh, just do summation of these terms 88 plus 77 plus 70 plus 73 which is equal to 308 divided by 4 varieties okay which is equal to 77 okay uh, 77 divided by 4 again you will get 19.25 that is approximately equal to 20 so you should subtract by coding method <coughs> subtract 20 from each term 20 from each term over here okay so i can write uh, or simply when you just sum of these terms okay divided by total number of observations you will get the average of 19.25 which is approximately equal to 20 so you have to subtract uh, each uh, subtract 20 from each term so 25 minus 20 how much you will get 5 23 minus 20 that is 3 okay 20 minus 20 that is 0 20 minus 20 again 0 okay 20 minus 19 uh, that is sorry 19 minus 20 that is minus 1 19 minus 20 is minus 1 again 21 minus 20 is 1 18 minus uh, 20 is minus 2 this is your minus 1 14 minus 20 is minus 6 and uh, 17 minus 20 is minus 3 20 minus 20 is 0 then again for the 17 minus 20 is minus 3 0 21 minus 20 is 1 and then 15 minus 20 is minus 5 this is all about uh, subtracting the terms over here then you should sum up 5 plus 3 is 8 and 8 square is 64 you have to take first summation of this then square of this one okay then minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 minus 2 and minus 2 is minus 4 okay minus 4 whole square is 16 then minus 1 minus 6 is minus 7 minus 7 minus 3 is uh, minus 10 okay so i can take here minus 10 and 100 will be here then minus 3 1 is uh, minus 2 minus 2 minus 5 is minus 7 this will be your 49 okay then accordingly you have to column wise uh, some uh, you have to do summation over here so 5 minus 1 is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 3 minus 3 is 0 okay 3 minus 1 is 2 2 minus 6 is minus 4 so you can take minus 4 here 0 1 1 minus 3 is minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 minus 2 minus 5 is minus 7 then take square of these 0 16 1 49 okay then you have to do total of this one 8 minus 4 is minus 4 minus 4 minus 10 is minus 14 minus 14 and uh, minus 7 how much you will get sorry something i have did wrong over here uh, this is your minus 1 minus 1 is uh, minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 minus 1 and minus 2 is minus 3 over here now 8 minus 3 is 5 uh, 5 minus 10 is minus 5 minus 5 minus 7 is minus 12 is your sum for t okay summation of t 
I need this T in the formula over there. Okay, up to this, I hope this is clear. Okay, now let me proceed for the another step. So now take the squares of each and every term. So 5, 5 square is 25, 3 square is 9. This is your 0, 0, minus 1 square is 1, minus 1 square is 1, 1, 4, minus 1 square is 1 again, minus 6 square is 36, and minus 3 square is 9, and 0 is 0, right? Then <coughs> minus 3 square is 9, 0, 1 square is 1 and minus 5 square is 25. Now you have to do summation. 25 plus 1 is 26, 27, 27 plus 9 is 36, right? 9 plus 1 is 10, uh, 36 and 10 is 46. So take 46. 1, 9 and 1, 10 plus 1, 11. Okay, 4 plus 25, that is 29. Now you have to do summation of these terms. <coughs> which I need in formula. So uh, your handbook will be there in the examination. That will definitely help you in the calculation part over there. Okay, by putting the formula and writing down the values. 36 plus 46 plus 11 plus 29, which is equal to 122. I'm getting summation as 122. Now, there are some formulas which you have to use uh, and these calculations you have to put down. Now, correction factor. It is given by T square by N. So T we have calculated here 12 okay so minus 12 so minus 12 whole square divided by number of observations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 as it is a four class four class four matrix so it is 16 number of observations are there so minus 12 square divided by 16 you will get 9 over here right then total sum of squares that is summation of xi square we calculated here that is 122 minus t square by n so Total sum of square is TSS. It is given by the formula this one. Okay. Summation of XI square we already calculated 122. So 122 minus T square by N already calculated here. So minus 9 you will get TSS is equal to 133. Now sum of row square is su summation of TI square divided by NI minus T square by N. Now SSR which is equal to TI square means we have calculated squares over here. See T square is 64. Right. So I can write here 64 upon 4. How many varieties are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, 64 divided by 4. Then plus, as it is the summation of terms, okay, plus 16 divided by 4 plus 100 divided by 4. Okay, I hope, the, sorry, this is your 3 square is 9. So this is wrong over here. So 3 square is 9. So I can take here now, this is your 9 divided by 4 plus 100 divided by 4 and 49 divided by 4 okay minus t square by n already calculated in the above step that is your 9 so minus 9 once you calculate ssr you will get so let me calculate here 64 divided by 4 plus as 4 is common so i can take the whole divider right plus 9 plus 100 plus 49 which is equal to 55.5 minus 9 minus 9 which is equal to 46.5 so i can take here ssr is equal to 46.5 then sum of column square is ssc it is given by the sum of pi square divided by ni minus t square by and it will be available in your handbook so ssc what is the pi value pi square value that is 0 0 upon 4 you have to take plus then 16 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 plus 49 upon 4 okay these are the varieties minus t square by n already calculated that is 9 now i can calculate this one this is your 16 plus 1 plus 49 upon 4 minus 9 which is equal to 15 by 2 that is 7.5 you are getting ssc value ssc is equal to 7.5 okay after calculating this, now you should follow another table. That is your observations. Try to match the A values over here, okay, in the each column. See here. This is your A value is 0. First take all separate values of A. So 0. What is the A value here? Minus 1. Take here minus 1. What is the A value here? Minus 6. So minus 6. What is the A value in the last row? That is minus 5. Like that, you have to match it. Okay. Then B. B value is first 3. Then in this column, there is minus 2. Then in this column, there is minus 1. 
in this there is one okay then c value c value is five then in the second row that is one then in the third row that is zero in the fourth row it is again zero over here okay then uh, d value d value is first zero then in second row it is minus one then in third row it is minus three last row it is again a minus three now you have to do the summation of these terms so minus one minus six is minus seven minus seven minus five is minus twelve okay three minus two is one one minus one is zero plus one is one then five plus one is six this is your minus one and minus three is minus four minus four minus three is minus seven so 12 square is 144 one square is one this is 36 this is your 49 so you have to do uh, now summation uh, sorry to find the sum of treatments as in the later on i will show you the table in which we require this sst also it is again a formula which is available in your handbook so summation of i q i square divided by n i minus t square by n so q i square we have calculated i can take 144 divided by number of varieties 4 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 36 divided by 4 plus 49 divided by 4 minus t square by n it is already calculated 9 we have calculated it in the above step okay so sst is equal to sum of these terms now so you will get 144 plus 1 plus 36 plus 49 divided by 4 minus 9 which is equal to 48.5 so i am getting 48.5 sst value now in order to calculate error over here so it is given by tss minus ssr minus ssc minus sst so we have calculated all the values so we should go through the formulas now so what is the tss value see tss value is 113 so 113 minus ssr value ssr 46.5 46.5 then ssc value 7.5 okay then minus sst sst we have calculated here 48.5 now let me calculate sse value over here so 113 minus 46.5 minus 7.5 minus 48.5 which is equal to 10.5 so 10.5 is your value for error now this is your ANOVA table over here this is a uh, sources variation degree of freedom sum of square is mean sum of square is f ratio and last we will see the conclusion first of all write down the rows how many rows are there four so degree of freedom is row minus one which is equal to three columns for columns degree of freedom is four minus one as columns and rows are same in the problem see one two three four and one one two three four these are the rows and columns so four minus one is equal to three so treatment is always equal to and also there are four treatments means four varieties are there one two three four so also degree of freedom will be four minus one which is equal to three okay error value is given by c minus one into c minus two okay so what is the c column that is four minus one into four minus two okay this is your four minus one is three four minus two is two three into two is six so error value is six over here okay now let me write down the ssr value what we have calculated so far so ssr value is 46.5 and ssc value is 7.5 and sst value we have calculated here that is 48.5 and sse value that is 10.5 right so msr is equal to this one 46.5 divided of freedom value divided by 3 this is your msc is equal to 7 point ssc divided by degree of freedom value that is 3 mst is 48.5 divided by degree of freedom value 3 msc is equal to 10.5 that is your ssc divided by error value that is 6 now let me calculate it accordingly so 46.5 divided by 3 it is equal to 
uh, you just calculate these values okay after calculating these values you are supposed to calculate the f ratio okay f ratio how you are calculating this 15.5 this msr divided by the minimum value which you are in this particular case okay so mse is the minimum value that is why i divided 1.75 in similar this case 2.5 divided by 1.75 in this 16.1 divided by 1.75 okay these are the values okay so I, I am getting these values over here 8.85 1.42 9.42 so in the uh, last previous videos i have shown you how to calculate the f distribution table at the degree of freedom so degree of freedom is 3 over here and the error is 6 so at 3 comma 6 you have to check the critical value okay so you will get uh, this 8.5 is greater than that particular critical value which you will find in app distribution table and they will give you in the examinations the handbook over there which you will calculate so once it is greater than that particular particular critical value so hypothesis is rejected so here i am getting f ratio as 1.42 so hypothesis is uh, so obviously fr ratio is less than that particular uh, particular critical value so hypothesis will be accepted okay so in this case last case uh, f for treatment so 9.2 i am getting so it is greater than that particular value okay so your hypothesis will be rejected over here okay so this is all about the solution of this particular latin square design problem i hope this is clear to you people so make sure you will share this video to all your friends and all the best for your examinations thank you